I'm I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I, I just woke up. I just woke up. This one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Getting ready to go pick up some stuff from the auction and getting ready. And I'm getting dressed and all that. Is that uh, get put on my shoes? I ain't putting on shoes. Hey, Rev, I'm putting on my shoes. I got to get ready and stuff. I, uh, <clears throat> I was putting, I was like, I was naked before this. I'm trying to, got a new shirt. It says, you got to love pole, you got to love a good pole dance. But then it has a fish. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Uh, we got so much stuff to do. We got so much stuff to do. I got to, you know, if I can buy, I'm telling everybody out there, you know, I've been trying to, I always try to invest money. How's Ted? Oh, Rev. Oh, shit. You see my face and how I'm out of it? Um, well, I, I slept on the couch last night. It's me and Sunshine's anniversary, and um, I spent probably half my night on the couch, and Ted was attacking me. And you're like, oh, that sounds like trouble. Why would pole vault be sleeping on the couch? Mm. It's because my mama bulldog, who was supposed to be fixed after like 10 years, she had a baby, which was Chunk. And... um we were like, oh, that's that's crazy. The dog is fixed. She has been around a male bulldog for, you know, 10 years. And, you know, nothing happened and because they're they're Well, she was she was uh, neutered or whatever, spaded. And so she wasn't it's supposed to be not even possible. She has a baby. And um, you're like, OK. Well, uh, okay, pole vault, what does that have to do with you sleeping on the couch? Well, she came into the bedroom about three o'clock in the morning and she jumped up on the bed as she will do. It's Maggie, it's my big bulldog girl. And she starts licking me in the face. I'm like, hey, stop licking me in the face, Maggie. Uh, please, I would appreciate that if you quit licking me in the face. And then she laid down next to me and started puffing. I was like, oh, my God. You know, um, is she okay? Yeah, she's, you know, she looked at me crazy, but she's still. And I'm like, okay. About an hour later, I wake up. And laying in bed next to me is a new bulldog puppy. I'm just like, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to sleep on the couch and dealing with life craziness. I mean, it's pole vault life. Nothing's, nothing's, hey, Mike. Nothing is what it's supposed to be in my life. Nothing. What? Congrats on the puppy or congrats on my 
uh, me and Sunshine have been married for 28 years, which, uh, you know, I always argue with her because we did live in sin for a while, uh, you know, before we got married. And she, she doesn't count, she doesn't count the, the year or two that we lived together. Um, we didn't live together for two years. I guess we lived together for about a year. You know, used to, uh, when I was young, uh, especially with my first wife, it was like, you know, and, and Rev knows this, you, you know, it's kind of a, a sin and look down on back in the old days. Um, <laughs> sleep on the couch would be the best anniversary you could give. <laughs> I know, Mouse. Uh, the thing is, is, you know, but I really believe, I mean, and, and I know this is wrong, but I really think you should try to live with someone before you get married to them because you have no idea you know, when you're dating, you don't have any idea who that person is or how they live. And some of the things that seems to be OK, you know, when you're dating, it's not until you get in that, you know, habitat where like Sunshine and me could both see the bad sides of ourselves. Like, hey, Pobalt leaves his socks all over the place. You know. If that's a deal breaker, maybe you, you got to think about it. Ah, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I cannot even believe. I cannot even believe. I cannot even believe that Maggie had a baby in the bed next to me. I just. And I'm hoping she doesn't have any more. I'm really hoping. She doesn't have any more. The thing is, is um, the kind of dogs they are, they're really English bulldogs. They're kind of really expensive. But, you know, we're, we, it, it is not our intention to be breeding them. And, oh God, I just. I, I'm kind of really tired this morning because of it, but you know, tried to pawn one off on Pookie this morning. She's like, "No, I don't have a backyard near my cat." Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, the uh, the cat, uh, uh, these dogs. If anybody's ever seen an English bulldog, they. Nearly every time you see an English bulldog, they have a pet cat, a pet cat, uh, and uh, they love cats. They, they uh, want to always, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Evil Kitty doesn't want a pet, and, and uh, but. I think I was telling Rev earlier if there's uh any like anything like I try not to hoard, but I probably still do a little bit. But uh I always try to invest money when I can. And I've got uh hey Steve <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, here, I'll get it behind. It's always like behind those. Huh? Yeah, we got a puppy for our anniversary. Uh, you know, in 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 the bed with me as I'm sleeping. But uh, I bought like an ounce of silver at an auction yesterday. For six bucks. And uh, it's not really going off the charts. It, but it, I mean, it's at like 23 bucks an ounce right now. And it doesn't come down 
that bad. And gold has been really good. If you can get gold, gold or silver at half price. Here, here's the thing. If I wanted to, I could just go to the auction, which is just right down the street from me, pick up the silver and then go to the gold and silver exchange. And they would uh, pick up, uh, God, no, the lie is killing me. And pick up, um, I could go to the gold and silver exchange and make, it's no big deal. It's like 18 bucks. But the thing is, is I just keep doing that. Like, like this whole bag is like uh, sterling silver charms. And like this tray is a uh, sterling silver. And I got this for a dollar. I got, the, I got these, this sterling silver salt shaker. And they were like, well, we don't know where the pepper the pepper shaker to that little set is, and it's a salt shaker with abalone on it, you know. But the thing is, is this together, and and the gold and silver exchange does not care is about an ounce. So I paid a dollar. So I got like seven dollars in uh and two ounces of silver but that's not how i do it i just keep on if i go to any estate sales or anything where i see silver for cheap i pick it up and um <coughs> and um i pick it up and just stash it away stash it away stash it away and um the co of course the silver jewelry would go for more but uh, any kind of silver with weight would be uh, cool. Um, whew, I'm gonna have to quit. I'm gonna have to cut back on my smoking and, and, and to where I can't. Uh, to where I'm gonna I'm gonna try to quit smoking. I have to get that in my deal. So I may need. Uh, I'm not doing it right now. I'm going to do it though, but I may need, I may need some understanding when I go to quit smoking. <laughs> Last time I quit smoking, I, I might've been a little grumpy. Um, but it, it's my, um, when I lay down to go to sleep at night, now I'm like gurgling. So yeah, it might be time to lay out the smoking. Uh, yeah, let's see what we're doing today. Uh, you know what? And I, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show y'all people, and I really shouldn't. People are always like, Why do you tell everybody your, your secret? Uh, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to check out. Beep, 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 beep. Look at me, I'm doing stuff, doing stuff. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. let's go over there with Dead Tone Records. Dead Tone Records. Oh my goodness, boy, that is a what? No, no. The other program on your computer add an extension. That, uh, no, no. Remove from Chrome. Remove from Chrome. God, I hate when that happened. Um, so I'm gonna look at uh estate sales net. Not now. Don't dock me now. But right here it goes find estate sales. Okay. No, you know what? Okay, right here. Okay. They kind of changed the format of it a little bit. But right here. So, clicky, clicky. You can go right here and say, hey, I don't want to go 30 miles away. Let's uh go to 
10 miles away and it'll make a 10 mile circle on there see that little circle and let's blow up the map some and look at all those little dots are state cells in my area and and it's cool because i didn't even put my zip code up there right that's good but anyways you see how you can do it and let's see so hmm let's look at uh that's a little far out and uh, but i like to schedule like my estate sales and like so i can like run like a little route to go to the estate sales let's look at this one here and this is estate sales.net see that estate sales.net and no matter where you live you can look up estate sales in your area and we're going to go over there. And this one right here is open tomorrow. When I see that, that it's open tomorrow, I'm like, eh, they might not be giving the best deals because the ones that are closing the day that you go to see them, they're going to give the best deals. But let's just go here. I'm going to, uh, let's see. Let's open that in another tab. And so we go over here. It shows you how to get there. It puts a little map over there for you. Gives you the uh, address right over here. And then shows what's at this estate. So, oh, shit. What well, shows what's at this estate. So. Uh, where the guy bought and assembled a Ferris wheel from his wife. Mm. Garland, Texas is got a lot of crazy shit going on there. Ain't on uh, matter of fact, back a while back. Oh, shitty shit. Shit. I want a man. Oh God. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That shit's going to be gone. That shit's going to, that shit's going to be gone. You, do y'all see this? This estate sale has freaking motorcycles, scooters, a mandolin. I've been wanting a mandolin. If that mandolin's at the right price, mm-mm. And I don't need any more amps, but if they're giving them away cheap, I'm all over these amps. And then look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Ibanez. Is that a fender? Uh, it looks like a squire, though. I mean, so that's at this estate sale. That's at that's that's this estate sale. See if they got any more good junk. Oh, 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 this, ooh, what's that, a little spaceship, a little spaceship, woo, spaceship, and I need a picnic bench, uh, see, and that's the crazy thing, if you, uh, up at work, I need a picnic, we need a picnic bench, and, uh, not everybody's out looking for a picnic bench. And if I could get that cheap, I would get that uh, picnic bench. Lawnmower. Here in Texas, you can never have any too many lawnmowers. Ooh, look at this. If I had this, I could do some sweet jumps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Robert. I mean... What I'm saying is those at this estate sale right now, if Sunshine to get ready, that, you know, if Sunshine to get ready, and that motorcycle is looking pretty chill. God knows the way my truck, I just had to, I just had the whole engine in my truck rebuilt. And after driving it home, driving it back to work, it wouldn't start. And if anyone's ever had an engine totally rebuilt, you know, that wasn't cheap. And, um, whew. 
I try to be a better person nowadays. And y'all might not know this, but Pobalt can be, uh, when, when he thinks he spent like $4,000 and he got ripped off, I can be a really bad guy. Uh, 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 very, as, as, as they told me, I wasn't being very understanding. Anyway. So, yeah, that happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, and, and look at that. I bet you could take some sweet jumps on that. And you're like, hey, Pobalt, there's no way that could take sweet jumps. It's got an eight ball on the front. I mean, that says, hey, I was made for doing sweet jumps. Bam, bam. But like, like I said, uh... A lot of the stuff that, and there's the jewelry and stuff. A lot of the stuff that they're uh, putting up on the site that you can see that's at the estate sale, just know they're probably thinking they're, they're going to get a lot of money for it. And I really have been wanting a mandolin because I need another pain in my ass. Because, you know, stringing a mandolin has got to be a horrendous task. But I could uh, do uh, that. That's me in the corner. Losing my religion. You know. I think that's mandolin. Yeah, it's mandolin. 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 But yeah, yeah. That looks like, even though it's a PV, it has a line six look to it. But I need I need another amp. Like, I need a hole in the head. Um Uh, yeah, I got you beat. I got you beat, Robert. But it was, it wasn't like a regular deal. And it's not, it's not old or cool. And the thing is, is, uh, the thing is, is maybe, um, you know, uh, which is this whole story here on this on this violin was cool. Uh, I got this violin for ten bucks, but uh, the lady. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, right. The lady said. Uh, so I got this violin for 10 bucks. And um, the thing about the, the thing about it was the lady said uh, uh, it was really kind of a weird, sad kind of situation. I was like, how much you want for this violin? And she said, I'm only selling. Uh, she said 10 bucks and I'm like no no the violin how much you want for that she's like 10 bucks and I was like okay I will take it and uh, then the lady said uh, the lady said um, I'm, I she said I was only going to sell it to a musician but I took one look at you, and I didn't even have to ask if you're a musician or not. What are you doing? Sunshine's doing stuff. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Say hi to everybody. I didn't even know you were streaming. So. Yeah, well, now you do. Hello, everybody. There's Sunshine. I brought Pole Vault some uh, anniversary snacks. Anniversary snacks. Yep. Dark orange I meant to chocolate those slices. Cheese, uh, last night. Yay! Candy, cause you know I need candy. It's for our anniversary. It's no. a special occasion. Okay. Thank you, Tyler. I was told. I told everybody why I I had to wake up and sleep on the couch last night. You're probably like, why did you do that? Did you show everybody your uh, shirt? Yes, I showed everybody. See, it says, "Gotta love a good pole dance," and it has a fish on it. He also got that for our anniversary. 
Hey. He's got two more things coming in the mail today that he doesn't know about. I'm just showering him with gifts. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so I, I told them, I know, like you said, you she'll find some reason to get mad at me about this, but I told him that Maggie had a puppy. I hope she just has one puppy. Really wish she wouldn't have had that one puppy. <laughs> Can y'all hear Sunshine's doing a concert? What you playing, Sunshine? Sunshine, what are you playing? I don't know. She went. So she came in here, gave y'all a concert, and left. <laughs> what she? What she thinks she's uh, Guns and Roses or something? Hey, hey, Sunshine. Hey, su why she be? I get. Uh, oh my God. What a day, what a day, what a day. Let's see. Hey, I call Sunshine on the phone, because I can do that. Sunshine. Now I forgot what I was going to ask her. Oh, there she is. Why'd you go away? I had 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 questions for you and stuff. Uh, Wait, we, well, no questions. We got to go. No uh, put, we got to go pick up the. Uh, Look what I got, y'all. I got this, these uh, Venus fly traps. Have y'all ever seen those before? Venus Ooh. fly traps. Ooh. Pretty cool, huh? Look how many. I've never seen that many of them. There's like nine giant ones and a bunch of baby ones. I just got them yesterday. You, you know what? Ain't on mouse. I have actually had three crappie on a pole at once. You know, I, hadn't, I mean, that's happened probably a few times to me, huh? Probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, and, he's a big fisherman. And Anon Mouse was saying, like, you know, I, that right, we don't he, go fishing I, anymore. whenever that happens, Anon Mouse, I don't think I have three crappie on at the same time. I think uh, Rev is in and Rev, Robert's in Robert. and uh, Anon's in. Anon Mouse. I think, I, I think, I think, like, uh, my stalker is in here. <laughs> is that what, what is it, Dexter? Dexter. Yeah, Dexter is like watching. I was showing them how to do the estate sale stuff and stuff. And uh and you know, I do this when I'm getting ready on waiting for you and stuff. If, uh, if anybody has any tips like on how to take care of these Venus fly traps, I had some when I was little, but I didn't know how to take care of them. So I think I'm pretty sure I killed them. And um I was very young though. In my defense, and there was no internet back then. Um, but now I there is internet. <laughs> But so I'm, I think I'm just gonna Google it, but uh, on how to take care of them. And I think Justine and Kurt uh, said they know a lot about those. So, <clears throat> and we all know that Justine and Kurt knows how to grow stuff. The guy <laughs> at the store at Trader Joe's, he said that he feeds his uh, <coughs> those doodle bugs. <laughs> he like goes outside and gets doodle bugs and feeds it to them. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I want to. I want mine to grow up and like attack people. <laughs> well, they'll be my minions. Well, no, they're my, they're my baby traps. No, 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 <laughs> no. And I can't tell you how many times when when I was a kid, I was always like, you know, I'm gonna get these. Yes, right, Seymour. And I was like, I'm yeah, gonna get these. Like, Feed me, Seymour. And I, I'm gonna like gonna grow them sunshine. up. And I always killed them. Still, I always killed them. Oh my god, I always killed them. Well, like I said, when I had them when I was young, I had no clue what I was doing. I, you know, I gave them regular tap water and like, you know, I, I know I did everything. Wrong. You know, it'd be kind of cool that little grow thing that you used to grow those vegetables with. Oh yeah, that's not here. It's oh. uh, somebody's borrowing it right now. That thing worked pretty good. My, if y'all have ever seen those little uh, my, for my herbs, yeah, they it had actually this... has herbs in it right now, but it's not at our house, okay? So. Uh, but that thing worked good. Uh, we would give that a thumbs up. What you remember what it's it was a called? Arrow Garden. Oh, they're called Arrow Gardens, it's hydroponic, yeah, it's like a hydroponic setup for herbs and. <clears throat> That thing for like two or three years just grew herbs. I mean, all year round. 
Yeah, and it so, kind of it kind of looks cool sitting in your front room. Yeah. So yeah, one of my clients uh, <clears throat> that I'm teaching how mm -hmm. to grow stuff. I, I took that's it to, cool. Took it to her house. Can't say her name. No, that's but, cool. Um, yeah. And so currently, it's got. Remember, I brought you some dill the other day. It's got dill growing in it. It's got chives. Uh, well, what's the big deal? <laughs> It's got basil growing in it. Um, you're supposed to have mint, but the mint uh, seeds didn't take off for some reason. But uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of. Uh, so look at this estate sale. Look at this estate sale, sunshine. Uh, and, and you know, I, I think because uh, they're going to be uh, open tomorrow, that this stuff is going to be expensive. You know it is. But there's, look at all the guitars and. Uh, uh, they got guitars, basses. There's a bass. There's guitars, guitars, and they got a mandolin. And every time we see a mandolin, it's always expensive. But they got a motorcycle, a scooter. You know this stuff. You you know they're probably off the charts on. Yeah, I heard stuff. about the hamburger too, but I'm not I'm not sure about that. The non mouse. He was saying he knew somebody that I think fed him. Jim A. Nana says, hi, sunshine. She's got some coffee going. Yeah, I need to make some coffee. Um, my offspring made like decaf this morning and I almost died. <laughs> and, um, so I've got to make some real actual coffee <laughs> that has caffeine in it. That's, like, uh, that's like putting uh, powdered sugar in a bag and leaving it on the counter for a meth head. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Well, look what I found. Some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> and then, like, giving somebody a margarita with no uh, alcohol in it or something like that. I like yeah. those. <laughs> I like those. Remember, we went to one place. Coffee with no caffeine. I, I just, our favorite uh, Mexican, <laughs> our uh, favorite Mexican food place uh, used to make, uh, make me the, uh, and I just love the shit out of them. They would make me the peach daiquiris without the alcohol in it and because she was that's drinking good. no that's good no and, and when they were uh and when uh because like you were it's like a slurpee. quack quack remember because you were drinking they would give me my drink my mixed drinks for free because they had no alcohol in it i miss that place yeah i like i like a don't virgin, look at me cry virgin daiquiris and stuff those are good like i said they just taste like uh slushies i told everybody it was our anniversary and we've been married for five million years mm -hmm. at least five and four million. days and two hours and <laughs> 40 days and 40 days, 40 and, days and, <laughs> and i was I, I was telling people i know this is not always popular or anything but we lived together for uh about a year so I, I do it a little different, but I told people, I think it, it's kind of cool to, for you maybe to live with someone before you get married to them. Cause I mean, uh, sunshine just like comes in from work and poops on the floor. Yep. <laughs> what? I'm like, stop pooping on the floor. Sunshine. The then, floor. And then you got to wad up a, like, uh, a newspaper and say, bad. I think you're talking about yourself. <laughs> no, but you never know. You never know what people are going to do. That's true. You, you do never them. know what kind of habits people have and, you know, what you can put up with and what you can't put up with. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? <laughs> you know, so she was like, you never know what you can put up with. <laughs> no, but we've been married for, as of yesterday, 28 days. 28. 28 days. 28 See, days. It's, it's been like 28 <laughs> days to her. Being married, just, just like yesterday that we got married. Being yeah, being married to Povall, time just goes by so fast. Twenty eight years. <laughs> what? That's that's craziness. That's craziness. What's well, at this estate sale? Pots and pans. There's some uh, Disney glasses at this one. Hmm. Oh, and uh, Pookie said. Uh, Pookie uh, nailed she me and uh, she's not here. I should have told her. Hey, mad musician. I should have told um, I should have told her I was going to stream next. Uh, we were over in the voids this morning mm -hmm. and Pookie caught me in a void in the same place and said uh, the union mm -hmm. is going to be on uh, I know, September the 13th I know. weekend. I know. What? I know. Oh, 
fuck? Y'all been saying September. No, 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 no. But wait, they have a date. Saying, they know, have a date. I know. Y'all been saying date. September for like a year they have now. A date. They have a date. Telling everybody no. it's gonna be. We're gonna be hot and sweaty, y'all. Been saying, telling everybody, don't do it in September. But they're like, we're gonna do it in September. It's when it so, works for everyone. So it's gonna be a sweaty hot mess. That's It'll a, be fine. That sounds like you. <laughs> well. That's what happens when you're in Texas in September. Look, they got uh, a hot mess. Do I, do I need a CB radio? You know, I don't need a CB radio. Oh, another okay. one? Yeah. Yeah. So no one uses CB radios anymore, but I have, I have a CB radio in my truck and I have CB radios all around. And, uh, and you're like pole vault. Why do you have CB radios? In Sunshine's car and in my kids' cars, I had these little CB radios that they can just plug into the cigarette lighter and use. And while we have the cigarette, while we have CB radios, is so when Sunshine's Venus fly traps get out of control and they go zombie on us, and there's a <laughs> zombie apocalypse when we're going to like our uh our farm or we're like trying to get away from the zombies we can talk on the cb radios and say 10-4 good buddy there's a zombie on your tail yeah nana i've got to make some coffee because you're right I'm, I'm the same way if i don't have coffee something is seriously wrong <laughs> well we you need to get ready too because I'm we got to go ready. we got to go get you we got to go get your angel earrings I'm ready. what you're not ready, ready. you're I'm, not I'm ready. ready that's kind of cool this is kind of cool. <sighs> but, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, the puppy is so cute. I don't want to, but we're not keeping a puppy. And I don't care how much the internet tells us, we are not keeping a puppy. Oh, oh. I am so glad Mad Musician brought up uh, CDs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. You know, I don't ever, I'm not childish and I don't rub shit in people's faces or anything. But, yeah, uh, I got um, some CDs in the mail yesterday. And I don't even know if they're out to the public, but uh, look at that. I'd give, give, wait, I, I gotta, if I'm gonna be a show out and do show and tell and stuff, I gotta totally uh, do this junk. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is super duper duper badass Son of Snake CD sent to me. He personally sent me this badass CD. Now, here's the thing. Some people would pull it out and put it into their CD player right away and all this. Well. That is going in a frame in my studio. That's right. That is right. I am framing that. But, you know, it's kind of crazy. I might want something else to frame with it, you know. Uh, a personal a personal copy of Son of Snakes CD. I, I don't know what else could be cooler than that. Oh, wait. A personal, a personal freaking slug feeder CD. Check that out, people. Check that freaking out. To me, that is so awesome. And I thank you, Chris, so, so much. Those are cool covers. And like I said, um... I'm going to get these framed, you know, and uh, I'm going to get them padded framed in, in my uh, in my studio because I, it's really, like, cool because, like, I consider Chris a uh, good friend of mine. I've worked with Chris, 
and um and i just think it's really cool you know having my studio like personalized cd uh, they're not personalized but chris put these in the mail for me and now i i just think that's freaking awesome you know uh i've met so many cool people in this uh music community and um I haven't uh, also got to talk about this. Um, so there's a uh, there's a music, not a music show. There's a show on the radio called uh, Coast to Coast AM. And. Uh, and they played my song. Uh, uh, the day it all caved in on coast to coast am uh, a lot of people may not know what coast to coast am is but it's a radio show that's pretty pretty old it's been around for a while and it's syndicated it's on over 600 radio stations it uh is the most popular radio show in the, in the in its time slot <coughs> and um they played my song and uh, and to be honest, uh, you know, I, it was probably like just me winning the indie lottery because they have one show a month that they play like two or three songs of indie artists. And um, they call it Rising Artist or something. And they let you know right away that they got tens of thousands of submissions. And um, you sign the release forms and stuff. And it, it's really a crazy, a new crazy world trying to get your music played on the radio. But um, I thought I did not have a snowball's chance in hell of getting my song played on the radio. But... I went and laid down in bed and I wasn't even, they didn't tell me when they were going to play it or anything. And uh, I sent in three songs and they pretty much told me, Hey, you need to sign a release form for this one song and pretty much take the other two songs and show them where the sun doesn't shine. They didn't say that they're real nice people, but they're, it's a very big privilege to get your song played. They they're like, don't call us. Don't, don't bother us. Don't anything. If we play your song, that's it. Anyways, it, it's hard to even think that you're going to get played on coast to coast. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, ma'am, musician. I, it was so I'm lay down in bed, and uh, and George Nori goes, and now for pole vault from Garland, Texas, and I'm like. He did. He. I'm laying there trying to go to sleep, and I'm like, he. He didn't say that. I'm. I'm hallucinating. You know. I. I don't. I did not hear that. All of a sudden, it starts playing my song. The day that it all caved in, and I woke Sunshine up out of bed, and I'm like, Sunshine, Sunshine, and Sunshine's pretty much like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> he goes back to sleep, and I'm just like, I was so wired. I, I I was so wired out because I, it, I know I probably had these fantasies before I was. Uh, and I've always told y'all I was a dirty little kid, but uh, I think it's back in 1976. I think right around there, I was probably about 12 years old. I had a little transistor FM radio, little one, and and little back then was relative, okay, because. It was still bigger than, you know, a cell phone is nowadays, but it, and it had FM on it, which was really crazy because back then to get uh, to get FM on a, on your little transistor, that meant that thing was, you know, pretty cool because you just had little AM radios. But anyways, I was I was born and raised on like a rodeo and uh I was standing out in the middle of a horse pasture 
like a big where all the horses ran and i had the uh uh I had uh, the FM radio in my hand and I remember hearing Boston come on for the first time at this band called Boston. And they were like, you know, and he was singing more than a feeling more than a feeling, you know? And, um, I was thinking to myself, wow, to hear my own song playing on the radio and, me being the dirty little kid I was, I was 12. Uh, so uh, I just kind of floated away, you know, and I thought about hearing my song played on the radio and, you know, this little stacky radio, what, how I would feel if I heard my song playing on a radio. And I thought, wow, I would have like, limousines and big cigars and hot chicks you know and this is back when i was 12 and and it was back in like the 70s so back then uh, the ladies weren't quite like they are nowadays they would be like oh it's pole vault oh you know oh it's pole vault and later when we all grew grew up they were like i didn't really mean that i was i liked you and you're like you know, how would you know someone liked you by them going, oh, gross, it's Pava. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, but I w had this whole rock and roll fantasy thing going on about my um, about my music being played on a radio. And even though I got like over a million hits, million views on um, the Internet, for some reason, I still had this hope that some way I would hear my music come across this little staticky box sitting next to the bed. And um, and when it happened, I immediately like just time traveled to that little kid standing there listening to the FM radio and hearing boston singing that song but only this time i was the little kid sitting there hearing like uh my song coming over the radio and like i said it's not a big deal because it was bumper music like okay we're gonna go to this commercial and here's pole vault you know and the day it all caved in but i still heard my music on that little staticky box and it was just really it was really, it was really cool. And I really thank George Nury and all of them for it. I'd love to hear my music more on the radio, whatever. But, uh, I got that. It's a, you know, a captured kind of music and, uh, and, uh, some of it's, you know, I don't think, uh, candy, Butt, my song about putting candy in my butt, I don't really think that that one's going to blow off the charts anytime soon could you know the i like to shit in my pants song really busted out and robert no we we do not set up at flea markets we could set up at flea mark markets and just probably just slay but you know that would be too much work for us we have um we have four kids eight grandkids and when you're a grandparent with four kids and eight grandkids they're always needing something. So a lot of the stuff that we do buy, we distribute throughout the family. I also have lots of brothers. I, I have a lot. I have two brothers and a sister and, and uh, you know, everybody always needs something. And we're, and we're the guy that, we're the i don't know if you've ever known people like this my grandfather was this person but if you've ever known somebody in the family where you're like oh i need a 9 16 wrench i don't have one go over to pole vault's house he'll let you borrow one and you he won't trip on you you don't have to bring it back real quick because he has 10. he might just give you you know the wrench um 
well, we're those people. And uh, one time here a while back, uh, the electricity went off here in Texas during the ice storm. And everybody was like, ah, oh, no, no. And people got, it was pretty bad. But me and Sunshine had generators and uh, gas stoves and, you know, heaters and all kinds of stuff that we could use. I was telling someone the other day, you know, if we got locked in our house for a year, we would, we'd be fine. But, um, it, it, we weren't that way pre COVID, you know, we weren't that way when we found out that like, you know, crap could go really bad and stuff. We started doing that, but, uh, uh, we also have a farm, so we actually, it's not, when I say farm, it's not really like a farm farm, it's just, um, we call it the farm, and uh, it's land down on this lake that's about two hours away, and um, me and my daughter put uh, little RV trailers on it, but there's no electricity to that area. So, uh, yeah, it, look, look, the thing is now I, we're so, me and Sunshine so old, we don't really give a damn about, you know, people thinking that we, uh, are crazy anymore because we know we're crazy and we thought we wouldn't we thought we would never need those got little coleman gas stoves for anything but camping we thought we would never and and i have like four or five of those coleman gas stoves it was it was zero degrees and no electricity for a week those coleman gas stoves were just gold and you would go to like the stores around here and, uh, and while they were open uh, and people were buying stuff like candles and flower pots to keep themselves warm. And, you know, I'm like, yeah. And the butane was sold out. It was, it was, that was a crazy thing. That was a crazy thing. We have a fireplace. Uh uh, that went a little wrong. That went a little wrong because I went down to the park with my chainsaw and started sawing up wood and brought it home to burn in the fireplace so we wouldn't die. And on our neighborhood, like little neighborhood chat watch thing, some uh, Karen was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that people went down to the park and this park is probably two miles long and they got wood and I wasn't the only one getting wood down there. Uh, and they were like, and they got, they were sawing down trees and getting wood. Well, I, I let her know in a very nice way. Nobody was going down to the damn park and cutting down trees and using it for firewood. That's why there's a lot of people that would just die if the shit hit the fan. They would die. Because why can't you saw down a tree and use it for firewood? Because it would not burn. I, I guess you can, uh, if you got a hot enough fire, you can burn green wood. But more than likely fresh cut green wood will not burn so what were we sawing up and pulling out of the park the dead wood the dead wood matter of fact we we pulled all the dead wood out of the parks uh me and all, everybody all the texans around were doing it we pulled the dead wood out of the parks the parks never looked so good thank you you're welcome you're welcome all the dead trees that fell on the ground for years and years and years and years and hadn't been picked up were now picked up. And 
not sent to a landfill, which is what the city would have done if they would have, if they, if you said, Hey city, you got to clean up the, uh, you know, park. They would have taken that wood and put it in a landfill. We took the wood and actually burn it so we could stay alive because there was no firewood at the stores or anything else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, Robert, they were, uh, there was a lot of people getting, and this is people who know what they're doing. They just got to Walmart. There was no gas stoves. There was nothing. And the next thing they went for was the candles and the flower pots. And anybody that's listened to this, if you don't know, if you put a candle under a flower pot and give it air, the flower pot will heat up and it'll make like a little small space heater. Uh, but like a lot of people don't know, you know, I, I mean, there was people here that died in Texas that, and, and I got you, you know, but I try to teach my kids, you know, especially things to do if the electricity goes out and, and uh, I take to be like Captain Paranoid and all this, but there, there's like solar flares and uh, yeah, the clay, the clay flower pots uh, make sure they're not the glass ones because they might do, do bad stuff. But I've used those in a tent, Robert. When, I mean, this is, that's one of the old Boy Scout tricks, you know. Um, another thing. I will tell you, I got a lot of them. They call them hurricane lamps and uh, they're oil lamps. And I have hurricane lamps, especially before that. And we got them because we thought they were pretty and we put them all down at the uh, farm, you know, and lit up because the farm doesn't have electricity. It runs off generator. You can't run a generator at night because, you know, everybody will freak out. Uh, but the store, uh, I, like I said, I think they call them hurricane lamps. Those things are really great. I would suggest er any and everybody get you a hurricane lamp just for the heck of it. They're pretty. You can get you special oils to burn in them and they smell good. All this kind of thing. But if your electricity ever goes out and it's cold, they put out a pretty good bit of heat. And they burn for freaking ever. I we've had one, we had one go nearly two days solid on one one fill up. So it, you know it's really cool. Um, and I heard our outside alarm go off. So that means me and Sunshine are getting ready to go estate sailing. We got the Monday night, uh Monday night. Hangover, it's not the Monday night hangover. Monday hangover is coming up, and it's gonna be funny. We got a uh, we got a tips with uh, Chris. Chris Lane is gonna be giving some hair tips, yeah, yeah, uh, and I, yeah, Nana, I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, those those oil lamps are. You just, whew, they, they really, in that five day, uh, electric outing with the weather down to zero here, um, uh, yeah, those oil lamps really did save us because here's the thing. A lot of the uh, propane heaters that we do have. If you bring them inside, they can cause carbon monoxide. So you want to be careful with that. OK, so we're having to open the door and vent out the carbon monoxide at the same time as running those kind of heaters. But the oil lamps and when I say I got oil lamps, I mean, I've got like 10 big oil lamps. I actually have one oil lamp that was um, uh, that belonged to Davy Crockett. And I gave that to my mother as a present uh, a couple of years back. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, yeah, yeah. I, Nana, I, like, I, like I said, a lot of people don't even know. Hey, Joe Val, a lot of people don't know that those, those, uh, those oil lamps put out a pr pretty good bit of heat. 
and light. And, you know, um, what else? What else saved us? Well, having a fireplace and then having the propane heaters and uh, and the oil lamps. And they need, I need to find some kind of a uh, fan that'll run off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and the thing is, is I actually, after, after that, I actually went Nana and I got uh, propane heaters uh, for everyone in my family. So when I ran across them at estate sales for like 10, five, five, 10 bucks. And the best time to pick them up is in the summertime. No one's selling heaters in the summertime. I'd pick them up and, um, uh, and I, all my daughters and sons. And I was like, they'd be like, don't, I don't want to keep this. I'm like, you take this or I'm going to lose my mind. Take, take this heater, take it home and put it in your garage. And if you never need it, I think that's great. I think it's great. It'll be great if you never need it. But believe me, one day you're going to need this. And um, yeah, uh, Robert, uh, my family, we always buy each other like the craziest new survival gifts. I'll tell you, I'll tell you another thing. I would never want to have to do this. Uh, and it, I guess it also depends on where you live. Uh, and people are going to be like, Paul Vault, you're out of your mind. But there's these live traps where, you know, and we got them for squirrels and raccoons or whatever around here. And they walk into the traps and the little door shut behind them and we take them out to the farm and let them go. But if you were ever really, really, really in a bad, bad survival situation, those uh, those traps could feed you and don't want to have to go there and you don't want to have to do that and that would be not great and then second of all sec but with, with my family i never had to push this on them is uh fishing poles fishing poles uh the worse the economy gets up gets around here hey many vibes how, how do you do that many how, how how do you do that? That's 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 crazy. How in the hell are you not? Were you not a moderator on here? You're always doing stunts and shit. Uh, but you know, but um, a fishing pole. I will tell anybody, and and I'll tell you what's one of the coolest fishing poles. So you don't have to trip. There's these little fishing poles that's this big. And I don't suggest any other kind, but there's one called a pocket fisherman that's this big. And I keep it in my truck. And in my truck, I have like a whole survival kit. Like if my truck broke down going to the farm out in the middle of nowhere, and I mean, I can get out in the middle of nowhere still some places here in Texas. Uh, I could, <coughs> I put, um, Inside my survival kit, I got a, uh, I got a pocket fisherman. I got a, uh, what they call a wrist rocket slingshot. And I got some marbles in there. And, uh, and yeah, I, that's what it is, Robert. I have a bug out bag in my truck and something that I can build a tent. You know, it, and it has um, like candles. And, and here in Texas, people are like, oh, well, you know, uh, you, I don't, if the apocalypse comes, you're not going to need a bug out bag. <laughs> I live in Texas. We, if we break out, uh, if we break down on the way out to our farm, you might need a bug out bag. Okay. I'm just saying you don't have it don't have to be the apocalypse here in Texas to need a to need a bug bug out bag, you know? Uh, because if you if your truck, if we're going 
if we stay out the farm until like, you know, one o'clock in the morning and then we break down, but you know, we're inside the, the truck and stuff. So it, maybe it's a little over, but, um, uh, a fishing pole, those little pocket fishermen's is probably the best thing. And, and, and Robert, and I, I, if you already saying bug out bag, you probably already know this, but, um, I think all, um, all bug out bags and needs, uh, tampons. And I think that's one of the biggest, biggest things, uh, to put in there. Everybody's like tampons. Oh my God. Pole vault. Well, no, uh, tampons are probably one of the most versatile, versatile things you could have in your bug out bag because they're just, they're compact cotton that can be used for wounds. They can be used for straining water. They can be used for so many different things. And I, you know, if you, if you got a bug out bag, you know, uh, I keep, uh, I try to keep, uh, Advil, Advil in there, some antiseptic, um, you know, uh, just lots of crazy thing. And here I am, pole vault, the mu I'm supposed to have a music channel or something. And I'm talking about bug out bags and estate sales, but, uh, I think, you know, our channel, our channel is pretty much just like a peek in the window at me and sunshine doing crazy stuff and our music is just one of the crazy things we do oh there's a cement statue i really need to not get cement statues oh ow 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 but that's look at this cement statue look at that cement statue oh that lady's being a little risque you know, I don't even think I'd put that one. I, want, I might put that one right in my studio. Hmm. If that's cheap, if that was, if that's cheap, that will be in the studio. Hmm. I would make her like hold some instrument or guitar picks or something. Yeah. They got some pretty cool stuff here. Yeah. They're like, whoa, that's, that's like creepy, creepy. Um, uh, what, what, what is that, Bo Derek? It is Bo Derek. Look, if you're not old like me, you might not know who this is. This is Bo Derek. Uh, she was in a movie called 10, and not everybody knows what the hell that is, not everybody cares. But uh, when I was a young gentleman. Bo Derek was a big deal to me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would say she she wasn't she was not fair faucet, you know. Okay, let's see. She never answers the phone. She never answers the phone. Never, never, never answers the phone. Oh, my life. Never, never. Oh, never answers the phone. Never answers the phone. Hey, that looked like really old Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it's not old Dr. Pepper. And... This one dude on this one string would buy really old sodas and drink them and stuff and junk. And that, and like people would send him like really old stuff. Uh, let's see. You want to be gray again? Look, I'm going totally gray. Gray. And, and I showed everybody many vibes, but it says, gotta gotta love a good pole dance and then it has 
a fish on it. What were you thinking? I pulled it. And you can get some pole music going. Pole music. Pole music. And I figured out also, it like uh, on a bunch of these, is like, uh, oh, y'all probably weren't even seeing it. You know, a bunch of songs, if you get a lot of people to sing on it at the same time, it, it, it like really sells and stuff and people like it because I'm just going to be real. Uh, that song, you know, we are the world. We are the children. Man, that was like a really sucky song. I mean, it, it's good, good, good cause. But so many talented people to come up with the lyrics. We are the world. We are the children. Sunshine. Your other presents came in. My other some presents. Of, some of your other ones don't show our address. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know why we can't show our address? Why? Because all these hot, uh, like these fans, all, all these like fans, you know, will, uh, you know, like all these groupies will run at the house and, and try to touch me and stuff. <laughs> They'll be like, it's Pobo. Hey, mini vibes. You're not going to, you're not going to like this. What's my Do you what? see that? <laughs> did you mean to do that? Yes. Why did you put it on there upside down? That, no, that's how it was. That's how it was. It, it, it already was. Oh, okay. You know, oh, because, vault, because you know, when I'm coming over. Yes. Uh, you know, when you're doing flips in the air and dancing, doing the pole dance. <clears throat> you are really like obsessed with me doing pole dances. Hmm. As you should be. Look at that. Pole ball. Yeah. And people are gonna people are like, what? Did you show mini vibes your shirt? Yes, I just showed mini vibes my shirt. Another one. It matches the hat, but it's different color. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, upside, it's upside down. It's, oh, no. Nobody can read it. <laughs> well, me being dyslexic, I read it right away. I'm just like, oh, pull vault. Um, hey, we got to get some deals. I like that shirt better than this one. I want to wear that one instead of this okay, one. Okay, it just means you're not you don't you're not in the mood to pole dance today. Well, people might try to pinch my butt and stuff. Anyway, I quit <laughs> it. You pinch too hard. <laughs> I always pinch too hard. Did anybody else come in from earlier? Yeah, well, there's many vibes. I said hello to many vibes. That many vibes is grumbling in their tape. <laughs> I've been grumbling in my coffee. Are you ready to go? I told you earlier. I've been but ready. you were not ready. You were lying. I've been ready, I've been ready all day. No, you're a Fibian. Hey, hey, hey. What? Are we going? Uh, are we going to the auction first? I've been ready all day. Pole vault's been doing nothing but playing. Yeah, yeah, that got rid of her real quick, didn't it? She getting all brave day back there banging on that uh old silver tone guitar. I get you. I get you. I got these. I'm gonna try these. If there if there's a if there's like you know, open time or something. Um, and like always, if there, if there's, I always tell people, if there's not anybody on, 
and and y'all and y'all see me around and stuff and you're like hey pole vault just open up a live and we'll come over here and chat about stupid stuff uh i guess i should play something let's see so i got i gotta go but i'll play something let's see what am i gonna play And breaking the law, breaking the law. Well, there's a little state set, and it's going to be so, uh, just so people know, uh. I've got so much stuff going on, but uh, last night I was uh, setting up uh, JW Big Tex and um, Jesse Helms, and uh, we got their cameras up running. Uh, we're getting their sound dialed in, and uh, so we're fixing to have two new, uh, new, two m- new music members coming in and uh, I'm fisting the like I, I need to I need to get a grip I need to quit smoking so much I need to lose some weight um not not real real out there but I have let myself go a little bit yeah see you know so I, I've got to lose some weight before I do the whole, uh, you know, narcissistic like shirt change in front of everybody. And plus all my identifying tattoos. And, he, and this, this one right here. No, not that one. This one, I'm going to get changed into a pole vault thing. Yeah. Dancing will help that. Well, every time I dance, though, they put it like, you know, it's like it's a, like, uh, it's some pro thing. And see, here, here, here's like, uh, let's see. And here's how you do like some dance moves. I, I, I probably should move my feet more. You know, it, it doesn't work. Let's see. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I always run my strings by putting um, some uh, stuff on. Uh, if I put on some monetized music, let's see. And I'm going to do like, diddly, little, 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 Ta-da! It's got a sticker on it. I'm going to sing that. Yeah, it does it. Yes, it has a sticker on it. Sunshine, your guitar's all out of tune. Because you've been like beating it with stuff. But uh okay. I may come back on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get sick. 
See the pole vault thing. I, okay, I'm ready to go out in public. Ready, ready. No, 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 they used to say it. Hey, Sunshine, when you did sports and junk. I got my coffee mug. <laughs> when, when, when you did sports and junk, did they ever say ready, ready? Ready, ready. Did they ever do that? No. Oh, well, it was stupid. They shouldn't. They said ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Not ready, ready. That that's a that's a Valerie song. Ready, set, go. Hey, listen, everybody. Maybe if I find something cool, we'll 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 bring it back and show you later, everybody. Bye.